Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here, if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Did you kill anybody tonight? How many? I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid instead. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you skinny piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corbin. We'll find out. The assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the Overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with pardon. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwin, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? The Litany and the White Cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me, and soon. She is a spoiled child, even if she's to be an Empress. Sometimes when you come home, you smell like blood. I don't know if I like this, Corvo. Everybody's arguing. The other day I saw Emily staring at you. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I think on some level she knows what's been done. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? 
Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you, after all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? 
Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. <laughs>